There's something to watch out for at the beach that you may never have heard about before. I had not heard about this myself. Over the weekend, a number of people encountered tiny creatures that they're called sea lice. In fact, one of those people who encountered them, he's right there, Seth Kovar, live at White Cat Beach tonight. So Seth, what was that like for you when you had that run in yesterday? Well, Drew, sometimes the stories come to you and sometimes you don't necessarily want them to. I was waiting in the water over there by the channel yesterday afternoon. I got about to my waist or so and that's when a wave hit me in the chest. Immediately I knew something was wrong. The Coastal Bend's beautiful beaches attract visitors from far and wide. The Simmons family is enjoying the sun and the surf, but the sand here isn't what they're used to in their native New Jersey. It's more hard packed. We're used to like sandy sand, like real. It easy. sticks to you more. Yeah, yeah. It sticks yeah. to you. And there's something else that'll stick to you. Sea lice, tiny crabs nowhere near full grown that travel at the whim of the waves. Big waves over the weekend pushed them close to shore, where swimmers, like me, then found them in our bathing suits. When they get caught, they pinch with their little tiny claws, and it's just enough to get your attention. <laughs> It'll uh, get you moving. It got me moving to the car for a change of clothes. A hot shower is the best option as soon as possible. I'd literally just take my clothes off and <laughs> jump in the shower. <laughs> the irritation should go away as soon as you get the sea lice off of you, and I haven't found any reports of after effects. So put them on your list of what to watch out for at the beach. Just don't make them your priority. By far the greatest concern is not little things like the so-called uh, you know, sea lice, it's really just the currents out there and be careful. And be free of sea lice. Yuck. <laughs> <laughs> I was shocked. I never really heard anything of that. Spring and early summer is the most common time to find those little crabs here in our waters. Now it could be worse. In other parts of the country, sea lice refers to baby jellyfish. And unlike what we have here, when you wash them off, they just keep on stinging you. Not good. Reporting live in Corpus Christi, Seth Kovar, Action 10 News. Poor Seth. Yeah, now we know, right? He was just trying to have a good time. <laughs> he was. Maybe next time, Seth, you won't deal with any sea lice.